Boy, it'll be a very different first day of school for tens of thousands of students across the Katy ISD today. Uh, yes, they'll all be joining online classrooms this morning. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers spoke with several parents and the superintendent. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Well, as you mentioned, for starters, there's not going to be any students here physically on campus this morning. That's because grades K through 12 will all start 100% online today. Now, I did speak with the superintendent, and he tells me that the focus over the past few weeks has been making sure that students have all the equipment that they need to make sure that today starts correctly. Sorted, labeled, and distributed. Uh, it's a grab-and-go style, so it's all tagged and bagged in advance. KDISD Superintendent Ken Gregorski says the district has been busy distributing devices, making sure students have the technology needed to begin the school year online today. Virtual learning will continue for three weeks, and on September 8th, it will be up to the families to decide which route to take. Gerilyn Raymond says her family's confident with their choice. They're all, uh, they're starting that three weeks virtual, and then after that, they'll be in person. Said they're ready. They're ready. The superintendent says grading will be the same for in-person and virtual instruction, but the classroom environment will look and feel different. For every child getting on school transportation is required to wear a mask. Uh, there'll be hand sanitizer on the bus. Uh, we will be able to do a little bit less seating on a bus with only hopefully two per seat. KDISD provided this video, which illustrates how classrooms and cafeterias will look with hand sanitizer stations and social distancing. Our custodian teams will come in every night, do a, a thorough cleaning of the entire building. As far as extracurriculars, all students can participate and athletes have already been practicing with safety measures in place. We've had uh, bands back in there for the high school. We've had dance, we've had cheer, and they all follow the same protocols. They're required to wear their masks. Uh, they can take the masks off when they're in heavy activity. So again, this will be a virtual start until September 8th. And looking at the numbers, the superintendent tells me that after they surveyed parents, about 52% of them say they'll continue with the virtual learning after that. All new at 6.30, we're going to have more on the measures and the plans in place that the district has to make sure that the virtual start today goes smoothly for everyone. Reporting live near Katie High School, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Yeah, we're hoping for that. Brittany, thank you.